Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So for today's video, I will be going through some of the filtration systems that we have been actually using to cultivate our shrimp in our bioflock systems. So the shrimp that we actually are cultivating over here is actually Vaname and this is a video from our previous harvest. So today I'll be going through in detail the filtration system or the setting tanks in terms of the construction, material and why is it important and why are we using it in our biofloor farms. So welcome back to our video. As you might already know, Bioflock technology utilizes microbes to convert waste in the culture water and convert them into useful microbial protein that could be reutilized by the shrimp. So this is a reading of the Impovco results of our setup of solids in our shrimp farm. So one thing to note about Bioflock system is that when your solid gets too much, you have to increase the amount of aeration provided to the Bioflock system because you are growing actually more and more microbial population that are involved in the treatment and conversion of the waste into useful microbial protein. So that's why it is important for you to remove the flock from time to time and this is how we do it. We introduce the culture water into the setting tank via a 2 inch pipe and this is how it looks like it extends all the way into the bottom of the tank and our tanks are actually designed to have a cone bottom in which the flocks are being compacted at the bottom and then we can remove these compacted flocks in a form of sludge into what we call trays in which we can open it and you can see the amount of dense sludge or dense bioflock that is actually coming out from the system. So this is another setting tank which uses the same configuration. So you can see here as we turn on the valve, it flows out very very densely packed bioflock. And we filter them using a filter sheet and this is how it looks like once it's a bit dewatered. At the bottom of the filter sheet we actually drill a bit of hole so clean water can drip down to the bottom tray and this is how clean water is actually collected from the sludge and reused again. And this is how it looks like before and after filtrating through a filter sheet. Traditionally, setting tanks are usually manufactured from using metal, but this is not suitable for our case as our culture water contains salinity. Therefore, the choice of material for us is actually fiberglass, which can last very very long in the saltwater environment. Most of our settling tanks that we are using in our farm have this characteristic cone bottom to simplify the compacting of sludge, and they are made of very very high quality fiberglass, which is at least 5mm thick. Using fiberglass, you also have the option of opening additional holes and to perform any modification you require to culture shrimp successfully. So that's all from my side. I hope you enjoyed this video and do download our ebook to get more info.